Hello class, this is the quick, quick summary of the quadratic formula, which you can find up there, and I will have a link somewhere for you to be able to hear a nice sung version of Pop Goes the Weasel. If you haven't memorized that yet, you really need to. ACT and everything expects you to know that. I expect you to know that. Uh, real quick, I do want to demonstrate how you can rederive it if you get stuck and you forget it. What we're going to do is we're going to complete the square on AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the C to the other side by subtraction, and I'm going to factor this A out. So if I factor this A out, I'm left with x squared plus B over AX uh, is equal to negative C. Now, I really don't like that A term being on my x squared, so that's kind of obnoxious, and I'm going to divide both sides by A to get rid of that. And if I do that, this will all cancel, and I'll see here that I need to get one more term in order to complete the square on my uh, left side. So what does go in there? Well, one of the mantras that I, I say to people in Algebra 2 is half down, square up, that you can always tell, um, you know, so for example, if you're trying to complete the square on x squared plus 10x uh, is uh, equal to 50, I'll just make it up here, then you, you know that this is going to have to have come from x plus 5 squared, that half of this 10 is a 5, but then you know that there was something missing there, that you needed to have a 25 over here in order to make that true. But if you add 25 to this side, you have to add 25 to that side, and this then turns into 75 over there. So there's a quick example of what complete the square and why I say half down, square up. So what that means for us here is that this b over a complicated expression is what we need to cut in half. So what must have happened here was that we must have had a b over 2a uh, squared in order to get this part in parentheses there. But that's not the whole story. We're missing something. We're missing this term squared. Half down, square up. What would have had to have been in here was a b squared over 2a times 2a is 4 a squared. So that would have had to have been in there for this to be possible. So I can't just add that there. I have to also subtract it if I'm going to suddenly add it into my problem. All right, and the equal sign went away. All right, so what are we looking at here? Well, we've taken this part in parentheses and we've turned it into a perfect square. Across the equal sign, we had a uh, negative c uh, over a, but I need to get a common denominator because I'm about to bring this over. So I need to multiply this guy over here top and bottom by 4a in order to get my common denominator of 4a squared. So that's going to turn this into negative 4ac uh, over uh, 4a squared. And when I bring this one over to the other side, it becomes positive. All right, so that's real quick here. I'm skipping tons of steps. You're supposed to have done this in Algebra 2. Uh, that's then this piece over here. I need to take the square root of uh, both sides. And whenever we take the square root, we have to remember that there are two answers, the plus and the minus. So you have to be sure to use that symbol. So we're coming down over here to almost got x alone. And this is equal to plus or minus the square root, this is, should be sounding very familiar, of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Well, this is something that we produced when we squared, so it's very easy for us to square root this. So I'm going to simplify this right side a little more and just do this plus or minus business up on the numerator and then take the square root of that already and it's 2a, square root of 4 is 2, square root of a squared is a. Last of all, I just need to move this piece to the other side. This 
guy right here who's already got the right denominator. So that means that I am down to x is equal to negative b when this comes over to the other side over 2a and that this plus or minus term also has a common denominator so I can write it as a great big fraction.